Hi everybody, it's Amy. Hey. Um, I am been really getting into small batch canning. Um, I got this, the all new ball book of canning and preserving, uh, which has a lot of really good small batch recipes in it. Um, today I am, let's see, I lost my page here. Here we go. Today I am going to be making this um, beet relish with horseradish. Now I'm one of those people, I guess I'm one of those weird people that really loves beets and I really love horseradish. So this sounded really, really good to me. And um, you can see they've ha they have a picture of it on uh, a bratwurst, but I'm going to use it for some black bean burgers that um, I'm going to make. And I just thought that would be a really good um, flavor profile to go with, with some ham uh, black bean veggie burgers. This recipe is a water bath canning recipe. Um, if you don't want to can it, you don't have to. You just have to store it in your fridge. But if you're like me and you like to have some variety on your shelves where you can just go and, and grab it anytime, um, it makes four pint jars of relish. So um, the directions say to trim the beets, you know, scrub them. We're gonna put them in water to boil uh, for about 25 or 30 minutes until they're tender. And then we're gonna combine uh, the apple cider vinegar, onion, sugar, horseradish, salt, pepper, uh, red pepper, and you simmer it for 12 minutes and then you ladle it into your pint jars and you can water bath can it. In the book, it tells you to water bath can it for uh, 15 minutes and adjust for your altitude. I'm right over a thousand feet in elevation, so I have to add five minutes onto that. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get everything ready and just let me show you one of the reasons why I went ahead and decided to do this recipe um, is because I was at the grocery store and they had these beet spirals for half price and they're already cut up and everything. So I'm gonna use this as part of my beets and then of course I have, uh, that. this wasn't enough to make the recipe so I had to buy um, some fresh beets as well. So I'm gonna boil these and I'll add these ones that are already cut up. Um, when I start simmering everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all of the ingredients ready and I'll be back. Okay, you guys, so I have all of my beets. So let me turn my, my little portable stove on. I have all of my beets in here. And they smell amazing. If you're like me and you love beets, I think this recipe is going to be really, really good. So, all right, so it says to put, um, I peeled, I boiled these beets, I peeled them, and I diced them up. The two packages of the spiralized beets uh, plus another two beets made a total of eight cups. So um, once I boiled them, I peeled them, I diced all this up and measured out eight cups. So that's what I have in the pot right now. So uh, to that, I'm going to add two and a half cups of apple cider vinegar with a 5% acidity. And you wanna make sure that your apple cider vinegar has that on the label because this is what makes it safe for a water bath canning and for it to be stable on the shelf is the acidity in this vinegar. Okay, so I'm gonna add that. Uh, the next um, ingredient is some chopped onions. Make sure I get all of those in there. Okay. And then to that, I'm going to add one and a quarter cups of just plain sugar. This aside. Okay, the next ingredient in the book is a two thirds cup of prepared horseradish. And um, I've already measured it into this cup, so I know that it's two thirds of a cup. 
there. Get all that out. And then um, it calls for two tables, I'm sorry, two teaspoons of pickling salt. Uh, that you don't want to use table salt. You want to use one that doesn't have the, um, like any caking agents or um, anything else in there. Uh, one and a half teaspoons of uh, ground black pepper and a half to one teaspoon of ground red pepper. And I just mixed all that up in here. So all, all that has been pre-measured. Okay, so we just want to stir all of these ingredients together really well. We're gonna let it sit and we're gonna let it, we're gonna bring it to a boil first. And then we're just gonna let all this simmer together, oops, for about 12 minutes is what the directions calls for. So I'm going to get all this put together. Hopefully I can keep it all in the bowl. It smells amazing. Like I said, if you like beets and horseradish, um, I just feel like this is gonna be a delicious relish to put on top of things. I can even see putting this on top of a sandwich, um, burgers. I said their pictures is brass. I mean, this smells so good right now. Oh, I wish you could smell this. Okay, so now that I've got all that combined, I'm just gonna let that um, come to a boil and then we will let it simmer, turn it down and let it simmer for 12 minutes and stir it occasionally. You can see I've got a little bit red stained hand from the beads, but that's okay, it washes off. Um, so while I'm re getting this uh, to come up to boil, I'm going to go ahead and get my pint jars ready. Um, this says it makes four pint jars, so uh, what I like to do is I'll get five prepared just in case there's extra. I can just stick it in that the extra uh, jar and uh, put that one in the fridge. Um, but I don't want to not have enough jars that are sterilized. So I'm going to go sterilize my jars and um, we'll be back when this has simmered for about 12 minutes. And I'll show you what it looks like before we start putting it into the jars. Okay, this has been simmering according to the directions. I'm gonna get my book. Just have it in front of me. I always have to have a book. Um, I'm about to ladle these into the jars. I've got the jars sterilized. Um, and this says to process for 15 minutes, adjusting for altitude. And in the front of this book, uh, know your altitude. Um, let's see if I can show this to you. I'm not sure if that'll, oops, if that will be clear or not, but it's on page 15. It says, um, boiling water method. This is under know your altitude. Um, if you're over a thousand feet to 3000 feet in altitude, you need to do, increase it by five minutes. So it's calling for... 15 minutes, so that means I'm going to do it for 20 minutes. Um, and I'm going to show you, if you have an iPhone, I'm going to show you on my iPhone how you can see what your altitude is. If you go to the compass, um, altitude, let's see if I can get that. Yep, see that? So that's how I know what my elevation is. Started canning up this delicious relish um it smells so good so i was going to do this in my instant pot but because i'm using wide mouth pint jars i just went ahead and got my water bath canner ready and i'm just going to water bath them so but i did sterilize the the uh jars i steam sterilize these in the instant pot and let me make sure that you can see what I'm doing. I think so. All right. 
So what you want to do is give this a really good stir. I like to kind of stir it up before I fill my jars. And these are hot jars with hot liquid going in. And this recipe calls for a half an inch of headspace. Um, when I'm working with this kind of stuff, I kind of like to do one jar at a time. And as you can see, I've got my um, a towel down to help with any messes. Okay, so you want to go around and debubble. Put out any air bubbles. This is calling for a half an inch, so I'm going to measure and make sure that it's at half an inch and it needs just a tiny, tiny little bit more. And let's see if we put too much. Oh, that's right about perfect. Right about perfect. I'm going to debubble that again. Measure that. Yep. Perfection. Okay, so let me get a napkin. Sorry about that, thought I had one. Um, I have a little jar of, I mean, I'm sorry, a little bowl of vinegar. And I like to wipe the rims with vinegar, inspect them just to make sure that there's no mix or anything and then um, I've got my lids and sitting in some hot water so you're gonna line that up and you put up the and this is this is hot jar so be careful and put it on finger tight and then I've got my water bath canner um, going with hot water in it. I'm going to take this lid off. And then I am going to set my jar in there. Be very, very careful. Okay, so let me get another jar. Show you that one more time. So you wanna stir this up really good. Gotta pack it. Remember, this recipe says that it makes four one pint jars. And it smells delicious. Not wait to try this. So I'm just, just pack that in. And I always like to make sure that my headspace is correct. That looks really good. Make sure there's no nicks. Jar, so I want to protect our hands. All right, 
right, I'll get the other jars loaded up into a canner. I will process them for 20 minutes and then I'll bring you back to show you what they look like when I'm done. Okay, you guys, I have been, um, I've processed my jars for 20 minutes and then I've let them sit for another five minutes. So now I'm going to go ahead and remove my jars. And I'm placing them on a, um, a towel because you don't want the hot jars to go onto a cold surface and shock them. So this recipe made exactly I mean exactly four pints just like it said so I am gonna sit here and let these process or uh, I'm sorry not process cool down I'm actually going to try to get a little bit closer in here and they're really really pretty so once I get these cold and everything um, I will uh, remove the rims and clean the jars and then I will show you a better close-up of them once they cool down enough for me to handle them okay so we are going to go ahead and open up one of these jars of relish and try it out. Mmm, looks so good. I'm gonna get a little bowl and spoon some of this out of there so I can taste it. here so that I can taste it. You can see that. Mm. Wow, that's really good. It's tangy. You can taste the vinegar in there. Um, it's got a really nice bite to it. Um, so one of the things that I figured I would try this on, let me get a clean fork really quickly. Um, actually, let me move this, make sure you can see. I've got a salad. I've got an arugus, arugula salad with, um, with goat cheese and walnuts. It's one of my favorite salads is to put beets a beet salad so I'm just going to sprinkle this on top almost just like a salad dressing and let's see how that tastes just make sure I get some walnut and some goat cheese on there Mm. That is really delicious. I'll put the rest of this in there. Oh wow. So yeah, if you like beet salad, and I love, love beet salad. Um I didn't I don't even have to add any salad dressing to this. The beets and the vinegar that's in the relish and the horseradish and everything just gives it a really good flavor along with the goat's cheese. Mm. So yeah, it's definitely a keeper. Like I said, I'm gonna use this for the top of some burgers and I think it is going to be delicious. So if you don't have the book, it's the um, ball canning book. 
their newest book, and this is the small batch recipe for beet horseradish relish. So go ahead and give that a try. It's really good. See you next time. Hey, you guys. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Also, share it on Facebook or Pinterest. Any one of your friends who might like to try small batch canning and loves beets like I do. Bye!